These tires are flat, if you cannot tell. Okay. Big mistakes were made. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if this fits. That's pretty good, not bad. I gotta cut it again real quick. have a hammer so this works though cool there's the kitchen it's kind of separated now there's that side and there's that side now I probably got to take this guy off so I can do this wall and this wall I'm thinking we're gonna do this wall next right here I'm gonna measure this out and then that brick out for that wall also stop bending so Nicole's going to be working on the white brick that's going to go right here because we haven't painted the last one yet. So right now I'm just working on finalizing the plumbing. We're getting the faucet today. I'm starting to run the water outlet for both the shower and the sink. So this one's going to be going to the water faucet as well as this guy. This guy back here is going to run up here and then I'm going to get a coupling to use this shower head that came with the water heater. So the water pump will be responsible for drawing water out of this water tank and then pushing it up into the camp lux. The water heater will push it out to the faucet and the shower. 11 minutes later. So this is actually going to go up here. It's going to go into this snake bite right there. I need to cut this still, but I made it extra long just in case because I know I screw things up all the time. We fed this thing through here. This is kind of what it looks like right now. It's going to be kind of a tight squeeze. It is going to be a tight squeeze. We're going to have a working shower after we have electricity. Okay, cool. Now, put this guy on. And ladies and gentlemen, we have and a shower head. Now we cut this guy. We now have water. This is gonna go to our sink right there. Goes through Behind. here. Underneath there, you see that? Oh. Oh, it's such a good feeling when things are like coming together. Yeah, slowly. I just gotta finish this part right here. Mm -hmm. I gotta drill the bigger hole. I'm trying to figure out is how to install this thing. Cause this thing goes on the outside. You know, That's where we the, fill it, right? Yeah, you fill it. Bam. Only thing I'm like uh -huh. kind of curious about. Uh -huh. What if someone wanted to come and poison our water? Oh, you know? they totally could. Stuff like that scares me. It's like they yeah. could just drip whatever they wanted in there. Uh. We would have no idea, and then we drink it. Or like, well, um, we'll have a filter on our water. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. That we drink. That just there drills. A hair in there. Ew. Well, it doesn't look pretty, but there it is. I need to attach it to the water tank now. What the heck? Here, uh oh. You trying to twist it? Do you need help? There we go, got it. I think it does need to go underneath. That's broke it. There. Did I really break this? It's really getting bad. Tubing sucks, man. Uh -huh. Are you cutting it? No, I'm trying to flatten it. Uh huh. Because it's been in a circle for so long uh -huh. in the store, it's like wanting to go a specific way. Right. Yeah, that's gonna smash it. We're about to drill the hole for this guy, the sink faucet. So I already marked it right here. These things are kind of fidgety, so sometimes I like. Mm. So I'm gonna try and minimize that. Probably actually should go from underneath. Let me do that instead. It's not gonna be perfect. It's all right. Yeah, it's a good thing I did this from the bottom. There we go, I got it, I think. Got it. Woohoo! No, it's good, it's just it kind of chipped the wood a little bit. That's right, I mean, the faucet's gonna cover part of that, right? Um, yeah. This is such a nice faucet, I'm so excited. I didn't think about how this is gonna overlap. Well, it's cause this is supposed to be like this, Nicole. So, oh, we're good, it's <laughs> perfect, it looks really great. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. Yeah. it well all right now we clean up mm. oh, that looks really good 
Oh. It's going to be the same temperature as whatever our shower is, oh, unless you turn it up there. Okay. That's the temperature gauge for all our water. That's so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> I dig it, man. I have to have my daily dose. Those chocolates are amazing. Mm. Hold on. I'm almost finished with my chocolate. Don't interrupt me with my chocolate. Okay, anyways, I just got done hooking this water tank up. Right now, we're gonna test hooking up the hose outside. You should be able to see it going through this tube, through here, into this guy, and filling up this water tank. And we should not see any leaks. Ready? Yep, yeah, go for it. Oh, it's going in. Yeah, it's going in. It's kind of getting backed up right here, but. No, it's not leaking at all. Looks good. You can see the water line. Oh, so we just drilled a hole for our propane tank because we're going to put it underneath the sink here. Yeah, that works. Perfect. We're gonna go pick up flooring right now because we just ordered four boxes of the bourbon barrel. Bring in the truck so we can load it to the back. One pair of pants later. Okay, we just picked it up. There's only four boxes. It ended up being about like 190, the flooring for all of the bus. Let's show you guys the color when we get back to the house. There it is. Core Lux. You're doing great. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, Mia. Yes. So yesterday I painted the trailer. I'm not done with it yet, but Gunner's about to go look at it. Oh, that looks good. That looks pretty good. It's a light, light gray. So I still need to kind of touch I up. I can still, yeah, you gotta touch that up. Yeah, I touched up little spaces that I couldn't see yesterday and then the wood. Yeah. That wall is gonna be wallpaper. This wall is gonna be like half of it's gonna be our closet. This wall looks really good. Yeah, it does. That was my best wall. Cool, not bad. So Nicole just finished um, this last piece of brick wall. This is gonna go right here. I'm about to nail this guy in. Let's do it. All right, she's on the wall. After we got the flooring, I realized that I need to finish, completely finish, pretty much everything inside the bus. I'm working on the little nightstand that's gonna go in between the two beds. The two tops right there are the top and bottom pieces and these are the sides. Just gonna be like a little storage area, but also I'm gonna put uh, the inverter in here, which will give us 120 volt outlets. I just wanna get the inside done so we can do the flooring and then go from there. So that's what I'm doing right now. So That works. 346 minutes later. All right, so the glue just dried. I got the box in here now. So this is where it's going right there. So it's going right here. I'm just gonna put a shelf. Where's that? Oh, there it is, right there. That's gonna go right in the middle um, of this guy. Let's nail him in. I should have put the shelf in first. Okay. Dude. So we're heading to an auto shop right now. They do specialize in wraps, car wraps, and paint. We're going to talk with a guy named Christian. He is one of our good friends friends so a friend of a friend but we're gonna talk to him about possibly getting the bus wrapped so i don't know exactly if that's a good idea i'm gonna talk with him a little bit about it because there's a lot of like awkward crevices and like different parts of the bus because i've been kind of cutting into it in certain times and we also still have to put the solar panels up on the 
top. We just wanna know whether or not wrapping would be easier after we've done the solar and all that stuff, but then there's tons of obstructions and all that stuff, or if we can just drill holes into the bus without the wrap coming undone. Does that make sense? So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully we get a sick wrap job on the bus.